if you're always bugging him always asking him to see you always asking him to come around you are going to come across as desperate and overbearing and no man likes that remember you are his side chick okay so if he is coming to you he is coming to you for some relaxation not for trouble hi there welcome to my channel i am so excited about today's topic and that's because we are going to be talking about something very interesting it is the main chicks versus the side chicks every other day on social media we come across videos of one main chick confronting a side chick and sometimes it is a side chick confronting a main chick one thing is certain these women are fighting for the attention of a man both of them want the man to themselves being a side chick is not so glamorous i mean it's not something that any woman desires but life happens and sometimes you just find yourself right there disclaimer this video has nothing to do with married men nope it is strictly for single men i'm not advising anybody to go after another woman's husband okay but if the man is single he's unmarried he has a girlfriend and you feel like you know you could actually be his girlfriend then this is the video that you should be watching by the end of this video you will have all the information that you need to move from side chick to main chick my name is chris and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already come on what are you waiting for please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a no video if you're ready i am ready let's dive into it the first tip on how to go from side chick to main chick is to be drama free listen if you don't learn anything from this video you have to learn this no man in his right senses will leave his girlfriend for another woman that is full of drama no peace of mind is something that men value so much okay every man is looking for that woman that would give him peace of mind that woman that will make him feel so comfortable that he forgets about all his troubles okay so if you're going to nag him and make his life unbearable guess what he is going to drop you like it's hot remember he has a woman in his life already if you're not going to calm down and make him feel relaxed safe and comfortable around you you are going to lose him okay one of the reasons why he's probably stepping out on his girlfriend is that she is giving him trouble so if you're going to add to his trouble, tell me, why should he be with you? Why? It doesn't make any sense. But if you are very peaceful, you don't nag him, you don't create any trouble at all, you stand a very high chance of not only having him anytime you want, but having him completely. If you give him peace of mind, if you are drama free, if he comes to you and he can just relax, and not have anything to worry about trust me he will be coming every time you don't even need to dial his number before he comes he will run to you especially if his girlfriend is the troublesome type if she's the type that is full of drama he would always want to move away from her and when he does that he would come running to you because with you he will have the peace of mind that he desires the second tip on how to move from side chick to main chick is to allow the man to breathe you need to give him some space listen i know that you want him to be by your side all the time you want him to yourself you don't even want him to move an inch but guess what that is not realistic okay he has to go when he has to go stop being all up in his face a man needs some space to breathe yes he might love you so much but you are not the only thing in his world he has other things to think about he has other things to do with his time after spending some time with you and having all the fun in the world he has to move back to reality he has to take care of his business no matter what they are and if you're realistic if you're reasonable you will give him time to do that if you're always 
bugging him always asking him to see you always asking him to come around you are going to come across as desperate and overbearing and no man likes that remember you are his side chick okay so if he is coming to you he is coming to you for some relaxation not for trouble you need to give him space to breathe if this man likes you as you think he does he will always come back to you if all you think about is him two for seven there's a problem it means that you are going to continue to bug him you would disturb him to a point where he would want to stay away from you he would want to avoid you okay give him just the right amount of attention don't be calling him two for seven no even if he's jobless and let's say he's not at work he could be with his girlfriend the main chick remember you're not the only one in the picture so stop giving him reasons to be afraid when he's with her you're always calling he will be apprehensive and you could ruin things for him so just relax okay be confident in yourself know who you are and what you have if you're all that he will come for you give him some space and time to go about his life okay because if you're always bugging him he will get so fed up with you that he will drop you before you even realize it we're talking about how to go from side chick to main chick and the third tip is always look your best as a side chick you have no excuse not to look your best remember this guy has a woman already okay and if he's going to be with you he needs to feel like you are way better than his woman and yes you might not be as beautiful as she is naturally but you can always upgrade you can always put up a front do not ever allow him to see you when you are not looking your best Whenever he is coming around, you have to dress to kill. You need to make him believe that you are all that, that you are a trophy. When he sees you, he should be happy to see you. He should be proud of what he has. Because if he sees you looking all untidy and scruffy, he will be turned off. Oh yes, he will. So you must always look your best. Okay, go shopping, get good clothes always look good smell very very good when he's with you he should feel like you are the best woman in the world i mean his main girlfriend might not be aware of this she might just let herself go and probably not look so great all the time and that could be one of the reasons why he stepped out on her in the first place remember you don't have the liberty of just letting yourself go and being however you want okay this man is with you for a reason he has a woman already and one of those reasons could be that he loves what he sees when he looks at you so you have to always always maintain that whenever he sees you he should see that gorgeous woman that he got attracted to in the first place always look your best always put your best foot forward as far as looking good is concerned okay when he sees you he should feel like he is with the most beautiful woman in the world and as long as you continue to be the most beautiful woman in the world someday he might just consider having you completely to himself upgrading you from the side chick rank to the main chick the fourth tip on how to move from side chick to main chick is to be fun and interesting if a man could step out on his girlfriend to be with you the side chick then you should know that he is looking for some fun and excitement okay anytime he is with you you have one role to play and that role is to make sure that he has all the fun in the world yes this is not the time for you to be boring nope if you're naturally boring you need to step up okay whenever he is with you you need to make conversations with him very interesting stimulate his mind it's not all about the bedroom yes your skills in the bedroom have to be great but beyond that how engaging are you when it comes to making and keeping a conversation he needs to find you interesting he needs to enjoy talking to you and when you guys are done talking what else can you guys do together to have fun 
be creative be innovative come up with ideas fun ideas come up with things that you guys can do together men love adventure you should be his adventure buddy okay you should come up with interesting places that both of you could go to and have fun his girlfriend might just be too boring for him so when he is with you you should ensure that you give him all the fun in the world okay everybody loves to have fun if that man is always happy and excited whenever he is with you because of the fun that you create why wouldn't he want to be with you he would always look forward to being with you and in no time trust me he would want to make you his main chick because he would understand that with you there will be no dull moments he would understand that you make his life way happier you make him happier and who doesn't want to be happy be fun be exciting be interesting be anything but boring okay don't be boring if you're naturally boring, like I said, you need to make a conscious effort to get out of that. Study, read books, go online, look for tips on how to be fun, how to be interesting. And I can assure you that you will find lots of interesting tips that will help you keep that man. Not only to keep him, but to make him upgrade you to his main chick. The fifth tip on how to move from side chick to main chick is to let him be in charge. I know this is the 21st century. Women are work more than ever. Women are stepping up and taking charge. But guess what? Every man wants to be in charge of the relationship. Okay, no matter how woke you are, if you really, really want him to upgrade you from side chick to main chick, you need to allow him to take charge of the relationship. Let him be the man, okay? This is not the time for you to start acting all independent and bossy and wanting to take charge of the relationship. No, you have to take the back seat, okay? And let him be the man. I'm not saying that you should be a fool. Nope. No man in their right senses would even want you to be a fool. All I am saying is that you need to let him be in control. Someone has to be in control. There would be trouble if both of you are fighting for control. So you need to take the back seat and let him direct the relationship, okay? You need to massage his ego. Remember, you have a mission, okay? What is it going to cost you to just take the back seat and allow him be the man? You want to be the main chick, okay? His main chick right now might be fighting him, arguing with him, and claiming to be in charge of the relationship. You need to devise a strategy that will work for you, okay? Let him take charge. Let him call the shots. Remember, you're not being a fool. You are just stooping low to conquer, all right? Of course, you should be able to draw a line. You should know when things are getting out of hand. I can assure you that if you are always massaging his ego and making him feel like the man that he is, the one in charge, the king, and all of that, he will get so comfortable being with you that he would be seriously considering making you his main chick because when he's the king he would want a queen like you that would be right beside him a queen that will help him to rule his kingdom without any conflicts the sixth tip on how to move from side chick to main chick is to not be materialistic I know you love money. I know money is good. We all need money in our lives. Oh yes. But if you really want him to take you seriously and make you his main chick, then you need to act like you are not after his money. Men are not stupid. Okay. We can tell when a woman is after our money or what we have. No man in his right senses would want to keep you when they know that you are all materialistic. But when you make him believe that you're not all about the money, you're not all about what he has, he would get so comfortable around you that he would willingly give you things even without you asking. Okay, stop disturbing him. Stop making all those unnecessary demands. Yes, you need some money, but you should only get just the right amount of money that you need to get by, okay? If you go all out and you're always disturbing him, making demands, you need this and you need that, trust me, he will run away from you because he is not stupid, okay? But if you calm down, I tell you what, it's just a matter of time before you begin to get 
everything that you ever wanted from him. When men say that women are not materialistic, trust me, they become even more generous, especially if they want to take that woman seriously. At the end of the day, he wants a woman that would help him to manage his finances. He doesn't want a woman that would spend the little that he has. So you need to let him know that you know what, you have some financial education, that with you by his side, his finances will be okay. That's what he needs to know. So stop spending and spending. Stop being extravagant, okay? Allow him to spend what he wants to spend on you and always give him advice on how to manage his finances well. When he sees that you are financially prudent, trust me, it's only a matter of time before he upgrades you from your current position, which is the position of a side chick to the main position. That is, he will make you his main chick. You would want that, wouldn't you? The seventh tip on how to move, upgrade from side chick to main chick is to have something going for yourself. You see, women can sometimes be so complacent. When they have a man that takes up their bills, they feel like doing nothing. They just want to sit around and spend money. Okay, if you want him to move you from your position of a side chick to that of a main chick, you need to get up and do something for yourself. Every man wants a woman who is independent, a woman who can hold her own. Don't be sitting around waiting on him to give you every dime that you need. If you're totally dependent on him, in no time he will get tired of that. Oh yes, he will. And the excitement will no longer be there. But when he sees that you are always grinding on your own, you have your own hustle, you have your own career or your business, and you are earning your own money, first, he will respect you because you have your own. And secondly, he would find you even more attractive. An independent woman is so attractive. When you look at her, you see a woman who is well put together. A woman that has it all figured out. She's not always disturbing you for this or that. Such women are so attractive, trust me. So you need to get up and get something for yourself, okay? Build a career, build a business, whatever it is. Don't just be sitting around and waiting on him to do things for you, okay? It doesn't matter how little it is what you're bringing to the table is. What matters is that you have your own money and you're bringing something to the table. That is a lot better compared to someone who brings nothing to the table. Every man wants a woman that brings something to the table. And if you want him to take you seriously as a side chick and upgrade you to his main chick, I tell you what, my dear, you have to get up, do something, and bring something to the table. That's it, my dear. You can really become the main chick if you want to. It's all about doing the right things. You know, get a life for yourself, be fun, be interesting, and most importantly, give him the peace of mind that he desires. You can't continue to nag him. If you do that, he is going to run away from you. At the end of the day, every man wants a woman that would bring out the best in him. A woman that would nudge him and encourage him to be the best version of himself. All right, as long as he's not taken, he's not married, I tell you, the coast is clear. If you want it, what do you do? You go for it, all right? I recently made a video titled How to Make Your Boyfriend Propose in Three Months. You can find it right here. Go ahead and watch the video and I can assure you that you will have all the information that you need to make your man propose to you. My name is Chris once again and it was nice making this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, come on! What are you waiting for? Please support me by subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. It was nice talking to you on this one. See you on the next one.